Hi guys, I have a collective haul for you guys today. I have a few things from Hobby Lobby, um, Amazon, and a few things from Dollar Tree. Go figure, I haven't been to Dollar Tree in a while. So let me show you guys what I found. Hobby Lobby, I'm still finding uh, clearance stuff. And I wanna show you guys what I have. So first, I found this, and this is, uh, I actually saw this the last time um, I was there, and I didn't get it because, I don't know why, I didn't get it. But it's a Sizzix uh, Framelits with Stamps, and this one was originally $17.99, and I got it for $1.72. So here's what it is. It's just, look, it has, isn't that cute? I feel like I can use this like any time of the year, not just during the Christmas season. And so I just thought that this was really cute. And so it even, it has the stamp, it has everything to where I could actually, you know, cut, have everything die cut and stamped and everything. So I'm kind of curious to play with this and see how this comes out. So it comes with 11 dies and eight stamps. So not bad, $1.72 for Sizzix. So I got that. I found these. I had seen a few people, um, I was gonna say hoard these. <laughs> Probably hoarding too, but I've, I've seen a few people haul these. <laughs> and I found them, they're waxed cotton cord and they have 25 yards each and they are beige and black. So I got two of each. And and I know that, that a lot of people like to use the waxed cord instead of just the regular, um, kind of like this. This is what I would normally use to, use to bind my journals and stuff. And so I thought, let's try this out and see how this works. So I got this, let me see. I'm not even sure if this is the right kind or not. Let me see. It says waxed cotton cord. So I'm thinking this is what it is. But let me just open one just to kind of, come on. Of course, it's got stuff on, to on top of stuff. <clears throat> so let's see. I'm going to grab the end of it. Here it is. Is this it? thought this was it but yeah oh this is nice let me see can I pull it out oh wow but oh yeah oh yeah that's good I like that this is really cool so I got two of these of each so and these were let me see does it say what the original price was a dollar 49 and I got them for 37 cents so this is gonna last me a pretty good amount of time a few projects so i did show you this already so this was 349 i got it for a dollar 49 and this is just cord hemp cord on a spool this one has 32.8 yards so this has a lot but i like to use more of this because it's thicker i like to use this more for like just tags just to kind of hang on the tags and stuff so i thought why not why not just get it i also found i was I was shocked to still find some Tim Holtz items that were still um, on clearance. And this one was $5.99, I got it for $1.49. And these are the gauge frames, so it's just a pack of four. And they're super good. I did already haul some of these in my last um, clearance haul with, with uh, Hobby Lobby, but I figure, you know what, I'm just gonna grab them because I did use one for my my wood tile collage wall art. So I figured I'll just go ahead and grab those. Uh, let's see, <clears throat> excuse me. I found these. These were, um, again, they're they're from on, on a cord, like the, you know, where all of that wax cord and all of that jewelry making type stuff is. And these are, uh, they're called Pinch Clasp with Lobster. With like the lobster claw and chain. 
So let's see. These were $4.99. I got them for $1.24. And it says that it has six sets of each. So it comes with 12 because it's got the silver and the gold. So, um, let me see. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I think this is supposed to be for like um, some type of wristband or something. So it'll come around and that's where the claw comes in. But I have extra claws. And so what I could do is use these as little dangle charm things for my journals. Let me open this. Can I open it? What's happening? But anyways, use one and then just use that clamp claw and put like a little tab or something to hang. So that'll be cute. That'll be really cute actually. I can do some like paper bundle little tag things. Ooh, that might be a fun project to do. So they have that. Oh, they come with different sizes. And then they have the smaller or the medium. And then they have the teeny, <laughs> the teeny itty bitty size. Those are cute. I thought they were all going to be this size. But these are nice. You can use them on different size projects. I'm going to have to definitely play with these and see what we could come up with for these. So I'm glad I bought two of those. So there's that. So you get them both in gold and silver. I want to put them back in the little bag. <clears throat> so I did get two of those and I found these. Not that I do calligraphy or anything. I did study it when I was in junior high. We called it junior high at my age. <laughs> now it's middle school. But I got these for 49 cents and these are just the calligraphy tips the fountain pen tips. And I bought them because I thought that they would be super cool to just add them onto my projects. Like just glue them on. Because I've seen people do that and I'm like, where do they get those tips from? But here we are, this is where they got them. <laughs> and so these were originally, these were $4.99 and these were $4.49 and I got them both a two pack for 49 cents. So I thought these would be fun to kind of just have as little embellishments. Last things that I got on clearance were these. These are super heavy metal knobs, like pools, drawer pools. And I, I got them because I was like, well, I wonder, you know, I probably have something that I can attach these to. And so I got four and these were $4.99. I got them for $1.24 and I love them. Are they not the prettiest thing? And I figure, you know what? I can make little drawers or something. I don't know, but put these on a bunch of things. And so I got four of those. And no, actually, this is the last thing that I got that was on clearance. I still have more things to show you. But look at this. I bought this. This was, um, let me see, does it say how much? It doesn't say how much this was. But I got it for $3.99. And these are six dimensional butterflies. And so I bought this. Look at them. Are they not the prettiest thing? Let me open it. I bought these to see if I can maybe put these around my frame, um, my wall art that we made. I wanna see if I can open. Oh, it was $16.99. <clears throat> can I open it from here better? Of course I didn't bring anything to open it with. Oh, there you go. They were $16.99 and I got it for $3.99. And so I got these because I did frame my wall art with the wood tiles. And I just thought that these would look so cool. Look at that. Look, they're like plasticky. I thought these would look super cool to kind of put them like up and around my frame. So I'm going to do that. And once I do, I haven't, I haven't put my frame up yet, guys. But as soon as I do, I will definitely take a picture and post it so that you guys can see my wall art. All right, so that's everything that I got that was on clearance. So 
going back to the knobs and stuff, I found this. And as you know, I'm redoing my, or redecorating my craft space. And so I found this and I thought that this would be super fun to put on my little light switch. And so it's just a, a light switch plate. Um, it was $5.99, it was 50% off, so I paid to, what, $3 for it? And again, super heavy, it comes with the little screws. So I'm gonna be putting that up as soon as I'm done with this video. So I love this. There's that. I went into the beads and I did mention in my last craft with me that I'm going to be making some autumn, an autumn collection of dangles. And here's just kind of a sneak peek of some of the, the beads that are gonna be on <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat. The frog is trying to come out. <laughs> but these are just a sneak peek of some of the beads that I bought to go into that um, autumn collection. And so since I know that I did one for spring, we did the butterflies, the mariposa. And then we did the beach themed one for summer. And I wanted to do an autumn one um, for fall. And then I will do a winter one. It's gonna be so pretty. But this one's their fall and I am planning on making these by, hopefully by this weekend. Um, but just to kind of give you guys a heads up, I am going to be making that collection this week and I will put a premiere so that you guys will know when it's up and when it's gonna be coming. So it should be either Thursday or Saturday that I post that video. So there's that. I'm hoping by Thursday, but if not, Saturday for sure. So there's that. Then I went into, I still have another project that I want to do. And, and I was just looking for little fun little things to add into my little 3D, my three-dimensional little project that I'm doing. And so I went into the little mini furniture dollhouse section of Hobby Lobby and I found this. And this is just the uh, uh, chair spindle back. And I got it for a dollar forty nine. These are not. I don't. I don't think I've never seen that these go on sale anymore. But I went ahead and I got this little chair. Thought that was cute. I got these. These are just little miniature mirrors, um, three piece. And ooh, the the mirrors are like right on. So they do good. So and these were two ninety nine. So I got these, and then. I found this little bookshelf with books for $3.29. Isn't that cute? They had some books. I think they had like maybe four little books for like, uh, what, like $1.99 or $2.99, something like that. And it was just a few cents more for a lot more books and the little shelf thing. So we'll see if this, it, it might be too big, but I just thought that it was cute. If not, I can just put it in my little shelves I thought it was really cute. So $3.29 for that. So stay tuned for that little um, project. Next, I wanted to talk about um, Hobby Lobby's uh, new Tim Holtz stash that they're carrying now. So before, they didn't have a lot of the new his newer stuff. And so I'm thinking that once they did the clearance and kind of cleared out all of his old stuff, they're my my Hobby Lobby really did um, restock and put in a lot of his new stuff that I hadn't seen at Hobby Lobby before. I would always have to look for his newer stuff at Joann's and sometimes not even that. So for example, I found his sanding discs for $2.99, 10 pieces, and I was ecstatic because I had been wanting to get some, but I didn't want to, I, I didn't know how much they were on uh, Amazon. I, I forgot. But I went ahead and I bought these. So $2.99 for that. This is just a restock. I love using his paper dolls. And so I just got these $7.99. So that's just a restock for me. This is new. Quote chips. I've never purchased these before. So I kind of wanted to go through these with you guys and see what's in here. This one, it has 48 pieces, 
and they're just um, labels, label quote chips. <clears throat> Excuse me, my, the frog, it's all the frog. So let's see these. I like the thickness of it. Now these can go on either projects that you put like tags or you know ephemera pieces whatever but you can also put a little with your crocodile put a little hole and use these as dangles so these are really cute so this one says no beauty shines brighter than than that of a good heart that's cute loving life is enjoying the scenery while on a detour that's cute Always keep inside your heart a pocket full of dreams. Oh, that's cute. A little magic can take you a long way. Uh, fall in love with as many things as possible. Choose to see the good stuff. The most precious things of life are near at hand. The world needs who you were made to be. And there is nothing that cannot happen today. Ooh, I love that. So we're not gonna go through all of them. I just wanted to kind of see, kind of get an idea of what they were. And I love that they come up with different, looks like, I'm hoping that they're all different. But I love that they have different sizes. That's what I'm obsessed with, that they're all different sizes so you can use the bigger ones for bigger projects you can use the smaller ones as dangles so that's going to be really cute to play with so got those let me put these back in here and then you guys might remember that i had been on the hunt for volume four of his backdrops and which is just the neutrals <gasps> And I found it at Hobby Lobby. $8.49 is what I paid for it. And look at that. All neutrals. So when I saw it and it was the only one left, I grabbed it. Didn't even look back. Didn't think twice. So here it is. I have one through five. And then I have his Halloween. I'm, I'm waiting for the Christmas one to come out because I, I want to get that one too. So look at how pretty these are love this isn't that cute that would be cute as a little cover right little journal I love that they have different things like different type of either spatter or um, like spills kind of a coffee dye type of thing yeah these are gorgeous. Oh wait, I got two. <clears throat> These are so cool. Oh, look at that. That kind of reminds me of his palette. His palette collection. That writing. Do you remember back in school when they actually used to um, goes this way they actually used to teach how to write in cursive and now my kids are like mom how do you write that or how do you write this in cursive and I'm like are you kidding me they don't show you guys anymore <laughs> why why don't they show them anymore how to write in cursive isn't that weird I think it's weird but I love cursive I used to love writing in cursive. Now everything's just regular print. Oh, I love that they give us all of the different, the different um, palettes. Oh, this is two. Ooh, yeah. <gasps> love this. I will definitely be getting a lot of use out of this one. So there's that. I think that's everything that I got from Hobby Lobby. Now let's go into Dollar Tree. I found a few things that I wanted to share. Look at this cutting die. Have you guys ever um, gotten any of their dies from Dollar Tree? I'm just curious to see how they, how you guys like them, how well they cut. So look at that. 
So I got that. I figured, why not try it? Then I found these. And you guys know that I'm obsessed with like the little trays. And they had some. I don't like that I had to pay $1.25, the same price for two different sizes. But I really like them. And I figure e either, oh, wait. They have the little plates on both sides. That's funny. Why would they do that? Oh, well, I guess you can take one off and save it for something else. It seems to be pretty good quality. But, oh, I love this. So I was thinking we can kind of do like a little, maybe I might get a couple more. Because I can kind of, you know, stack them, glue them, stack them on top of each other and make like little scenery things. You know what I mean? That might be fun. So I got these two. I really like these. These are really thick. These are fun. I'm really glad that I got those. So got that. Then I found this little thing and I just thought that this concept was pretty cute because it has like the ring and then it has all of these little papers in it. And I thought these might be fun to decorate and kind of like the little glue book journal type of thing. And then just kind of keep them together. Of course, you know, fix that. But I just thought that this was cute. Just to kind of, you know, for my own little stash. The papers are pretty thin, so I might have to back them with something. But I just thought that the concept of it was cute. Just to kind of do one a day or something. But just thought that'd be, that'd be fun. Then I found, again, for my 3D, another project that I'm doing. So I bought this deer, the reindeer, I was going to say deer moss, reindeer moss at Dollar Tree. I really like it because the color of it is really nice and it's soft. It's not like that hard stuff. So I got that. And then I found these, the wood planks. They're like the ones that I had, but these are a lot bigger. These are four and a half by four and a half. And you get six pieces in this um, pack. So if you guys wanted to do something similar to what I did, then this would be a cute alternative and do maybe like um, 12 of these, just getting two packs. Come on, I wanna open it. Why can't I open it? There it is. Ugh. I can't open it. What's happening? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so hard. Okay, so let's see how thin these are. Ooh, these are not thin at all. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, these are really good. So there you go. Here's another alternative if you guys want to do something bigger. That would be cute too. So I wanted to show you guys those because I thought that that was really neat. Perfect timing for when I did mine. So there's that. And let's see, I think that was it from Dollar Tree. Now let's go into um, Amazon. I found this set and this is by the company Globeland. And these are cars, look at that. They're little car dies, like vintage cars. I can't wait to play with these. I feel like these would look really cute on a, like more of a masculine type of um, project. So there's the buggy and then there's this, look at that oldie. There's a lot of little pieces. It would be kind of like a puzzle to figure out what needs to be where and, and what um, color it needs to be cut but I thought that might be fun to work with. So I got that. And then I found these. I didn't think that they were gonna be so thick, but they're little um, pockets with a, a window. And so look, they're, they're pretty, they're pretty good, uh, pretty good weight. They feel really smooth. They're not glossy. Well, maybe a tiny bit of a gloss, but 
I like that they have windows and so I thought these might be cute to put like in a little in a little project so this was let me see how many do you get in here 60 they're 60 so I just thought that these would be fun you can even put like a little mural or something on the inside that might be fun too so there's that I found the, and I had mentioned this before, that I got the extended cutting mats or cutting pads for my sidekick. So I got these, so these are a little bit longer. So love that, so I'm happy that I got those. And then the last thing, and I've already played with this, you guys, but this is the last thing that I got. And this was, um, I forget what they called it. But this punches holes I like a screw kind of thing. So let me see. I need to do it on something so that it doesn't ruin my table. But let me show you. Well, that was a, that was a fail. Let me try it again. Do it harder. There. Look, it does little hole, it's a hole punch. But it's made for, you can do it on paper, you can do it on leather, you can do it on a bunch of different um, things. And I love that you can use this. It has different tips. Where's the tips at? Look, it has this little thing with the tips in it. And then if anything gets stuck on the inside here, it'll pop out right through here. So you just stick a, like, a, a little needle or something in here and it'll pop right out. But it has a lot of different little tips of different size holes. So if you if you can't get too far into a project because your hole punch doesn't reach, this is an awesome alternative. I think I paid like $8 for this. And it comes with all of these tips. Look at how big the tips are. They go big to small. I think this one's the biggest tip that they have. But look, and they even have a smaller, smaller tip. see that and I love it I already used it and I love it I think this is such a cool little gadget to have instead of trying to get like the punches that only punch one size hole but you know that gives you that big neck so that you can put it in too much for me so I got this I really really like this and I've already used it so I recommend this highly so that's it you guys that's everything oh no it's not it's not everything you guys i know you guys loved my tin with the mushrooms that i got from tj maxx you guys are not going to believe what i found you're not going to believe it look look what i found i found the same thing in butterfly cards is this not the coolest thing i was actually looking for the florals because i'm like oh i'll just get the florals too right because you know it'll go with my <laughs> with my tin with my mushrooms but instead i ended up finding this one never seen it before so happy that i got it it was 6.99 and let's see does it say how many it comes with uh no but look at this it's the same concept you guys so let's open this up. And again, I'm obsessed. So it tells you the name of the butterfly, what family it is, and I don't know what that is. Maybe another name for it, like a Latin name or something. You know what I mean? But is that not the prettiest thing? And then all of them have little pretty quotes on the back. So this one says, don't be afraid change is such a beautiful thing look at how pretty they look like they're drawn the brenton blue the wings of transformation are born of patience and struggle oh selfina angel wow 
A butterfly is only beautiful because the caterpillar is brave. Ooh. Wow. Very pretty. So they all, they all have different one, different little quotes on the back. Green hair streak. <laughs> Garden tiger. 88. Oh, is that because of the eights? Ooh, that's cute. Morning cloak. Oh, but morning, not morning. Archduke. Ooh. The zebra long wing. Sonoran blue. Malabar banded peacock. Wow. The desert orange tip. Very pretty. Ooh, Mexican blue wing. That is cool. Ooh, that's a big one. The virgin tiger. Old world swallowtail. Sappho long wing. Ooh, the peacock. Monarch, all time favorite. And the wood nymph. Isn't that cool? Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy I found it. You guys have to run. You have to run to your TJ Maxx right now because they still have them. And now I'm on the hunt for the, the florals and the botanicals and stuff. I, I just need it now because I have this one. So now I need that one. <gasps> Wouldn't it be cool if they had one of bugs? Just bugs. That would be cool too. But anyways, that's it, you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking with me. And I will see you guys um, soon with my autumn dangle collection. And I will see you guys on Friday for another craft with me. My autumn collection is going to be... Um, uh, premiered on not my normal days of filming. So I will not do it on Wednesday or Friday. It would be um, a bonus video. So just a heads up on that. But that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.